Hi. <laughs> My heart is just pounding. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> Lindsay, Ricky, Weatherly. Hi. Jenny. I'm so nervous, you guys. Ashley. <sighs> <sighs> my heart is just pounding, my hands are shaking, I don't know why I'm so nervous. <laughs> Hi Stacy. <sighs> I'll give it just a little bit and then I'll start. <laughs> try not to fall asleep, Weatherly. I'll try to be excited so that you stay awake. <laughs> Hi, Leah. Aw, thanks, Jenny. <laughs> okay, Michelle. I'm still adding some of my girls to the group. Hi, Jerrica. Let me add Michelle. There we go. Okay. So... <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never... I don't think I've ever, like, officially told... Like, my whole background, my team probably doesn't even really know. I mean, I've probably mentioned it a little bit, but. Um, I'm wearing mold wine, bombshell mold wine. And it still turned out darker than I wanted. I was going for, like, a... Hi, Danielle. Hi, Charmaine. Um, for, like, a rich but subtle. But I didn't get subtle <laughs> at all. <laughs> um, I... And I just threw this on, like five minutes before I went live because I just finished eating taco salad. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> my eyes are just sandstone pearl shimmer and uh, denim as liner and then lash scents. I didn't even take the time to do under scents because I was late. <laughs> All right. Should I go, Ricky? Tell me when. We have 13. Let me open my book. I had to write notes because, like, I get really excited and passionate. So <laughs> I was worried that I would uh, get completely sidetracked, which I still might. But I'm going to try and stay slightly focused. <sighs> I'm nervous. Okay. All right. I'm going to go. <clears throat> so I – my hair is bothering me, you guys. Um, I'm Danielle Kujna, and I live in central Minnesota. Um – I joined, I signed August 31st of last year because Ricky told me that it was, um, the sign-up fee was going up, which it did, $5. <laughs> but I was like, well, if I'm going to sign, I'm going to sign for a cheaper amount. So, <laughs> so I signed up at the $50 um, price and she was like, well, I was kind of already planning on doing a party and she was like, well, you know, you could just do the party and have you could have all the sales instead of me. And I was like, well, and I kind of like hemmed and hawed about it because at the time, see, now I'm skipping around already. I can't, I can't, I can't stay focused. Okay. So at the time I was running a handmade sewing business, which if you know Ricky, she does the same thing. So, um, I was sewing all the time and I have four kids and a husband in a house <laughs> to take care of. Um, so I had a handmade sewing business and um, I was also doing another direct sales company on the side. So the sewing business was my trying to be my focus because the other direct sales thing wasn't going super awesome. Um, so I don't know, I just feel like I was I was trying so hard to to do more for my family that I was actually doing a lot less <laughs> because I had no time. And I had so many irons in the fire that, um, like, none of them were staying lit, like, if that makes sense. So, um, I joined, I just, I, I could kind of see, like, Ricky, 
like I knew her for a while, a couple of years. We had our young, well, my youngest at the same time. Um, so my Roan is my youngest and her Jake, they're the same age. Um, and so I could see that like the change that she was going through kind of like she was more like you could see her kind of coming out just because of this lip color. And I was like, I was very intrigued. And so she had added me to her group and, um, I just kind of was watching and I was like, man, I don't even leave the house though. So like, why, why would I wear lipstick? Like, that's kind of ridiculous. But I was so curious and I could see like her selfies and I was like, man, I kind of want that a little. <laughs> like I kind of, I liked the confidence that I could see in her. Aw. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Um, and I could see like the change that she was kind of going through, you know, and I, I think I, I think I was maybe a little jealous, maybe a little intrigued. <laughs> and so anyway, she talked me into doing a party, um, and then talked me into just signing up. So I actually signed up before, um, before I even tried the product. <clears throat> so, and my whole intent was just to get a discount and to keep all the proceeds of my party <laughs> and have it be mine. And I told her unequivocally, like, there was no ifs, ands, or buts. I was not going to be working this business. I was all in with my other business. I was working my sewing business. I did not have time for anything else. Like, there was no flipping way I was doing this as a business. Like, there was no way. And I said it, and I said it, and I said it, and I said it over and over and over again. And then it was like, my party went really well. And I was like, oh well, that's weird. Like, I didn't know that people were going to care that much about lipstick, but whatever. And uh, anyway, I will quit rambling, but everything just kept going really well. And every time I would talk to Ricky, I was like, I can't believe like how well this is going. <laughs> like what? I'm not even doing anything. Like I just post a selfie sometimes. Like, I don't understand how this is going so well. And, um, it pretty much went on like that for the first couple months. Like I didn't really do anything other than I know. <laughs> um, I didn't really do anything and it just like, it just kept happening. And so we just, anyway, this went on and on and we finally reached a point where I had a, I had a hostess that was like, well, what are the benefits of signing up? And I like messaged Ricky. I'm like, I don't even know. Like, what are the benefits of signing up? <laughs> and so she like talked me through it and I had my first downline and then pretty soon it was like, I had my second downline and my third downline. And I was like, and Ricky's like, you're going to promote, you're going to go maiden. And I'm like, okay, I don't, I don't know what that means, but sweet. <laughs> and then, so it just, anyways, I, I, it just kept going on like that. And pretty soon I was like, okay, you know what? Like I talked to my husband and my husband was like, well, why aren't you doing this? Like what's, what's stopping you from selling it? Like you have a product that's, that's patented. That's like first on the market. The company is just kind of getting started and you're not doing it, why? And like for him to be the one to say like, ooh, take on another thing, you know? <laughs> I was like, what is he talking about? And he kept saying like, put the other stuff aside, put the other stuff aside, put the other stuff aside and try this. Like just try and see if like, if this will work. Um, whew, okay, see I got off track. I told you I was gonna get off track. Okay, um, so yeah, I joined for fun and the discount. And I was really, really, really nervous about transitioning from everything else I was doing into this. And I was kind of hung up because it was like, oh, I'm doing a sewing business and I'm doing this other direct sales business. And now I've added a third direct sales business. I'm like, everyone I know is just going to think I'm out to sell them something <laughs> like in one vein or another. Danielle just wants to sell me crap, you know, like, so I was really hung up on, on like, how like essentially just how to do it how how I was gonna do it um and then there came a time when I was like okay this is going really well and there's a there's like a mosquito in here um this is going really well and I don't feel so much pressure to sew and and work that and all of a sudden my other direct sales company that I was with was not fun anymore and this was fun, like really fun and getting progressively more fun. And so I was just talking to Ricky and I'm like, I, I think I might just like, I might just do this. Like I might, I might just let this be my thing. And 
I kind I think I kind of hemmed and hawed about it a little bit, and then I just bla- like out out of the blue one day I was like, no, no, okay, this is it. I'm just gonna do it. It's gonna be really hard, but I'm gonna like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna break off of all this other stuff. I'm gonna stop having so many irons in the fire and have just one iron in the fire, but like really try and do it and like try and do it really well. And (laughs) like the day I said that, I don't even remember, like I signed two downlines that day and like I had a party or something and I had a whole bunch of sales. Everything happened like in like 24 hours and Ricky kept, like we kept talking back and forth messaging and we're like, what is happening? Like I just said it and all of a sudden everything is blowing up. And I think that was like right around Christmas time. And it was like, it was unbelievable, really. Because Ricky's like, I can't wait till after Christmas. This is going to blow up so big. It's going to be, it, it was, it was, it was just so crazy. Everything just, it was like the universe was like, you did the right thing. <laughs> so it was just like validation, you know, I don't know. It was really weird. Um, Okay. So focusing, forcing myself to focus on just one thing instead of, all three of my things that I was doing made me like push to be better. So, you know, for so long I had counted on my um, sewing business as a source of income, even though it required me to literally sew like 18 hours a day. (laughs) Like I was waking up in the morning and sewing all day and staying up till two, three in the morning sewing and then trying to be a wife and trying to be a mom and trying to fit everything else in and it was like and then sometimes like squeezing in the other direct sales that I was doing and it was like I was I was a ma- what's how's that saying go I was a something at I was a I dabbled in a lot of things and I was a master at none of them <clears throat> um so uh like a little bit deeper in that is that like I sewed all the time like every waking minute and I feel like I was shorter with my kids because I was like, I got to get back to sewing. I got to get back to sewing. There there was so much pressure on me. So I I feel like I wasn't able to give all the time to them that I wanted to as a stay-at-home mom. But I was so focused on trying to bring in that income to really benefit our family. But it ultimately wasn't doing that either because I was spending so much time sewing. And so I wasn't able to give me to them at all because I was giving me to sewing to try and make money, but I, if I'd have ever figured out the time income ratio, <laughs> it just wasn't there. And I mean, I loved sewing and I, I was losing my love for it because of the fact that I, I had to, and I was forced to, and I was stuck doing it. And, um, you know, I like, I put myself in that position and I agreed to things and I took orders, but it was like, I always saw like, oh, that's a potential for money. And, oh, I already have that fabric so I can, you know, and the seamstresses would understand, but, (laughs) um, it, it was like, I had to force myself to say, no, like you're not good at three jobs. You're not good at doing three jobs all at the same time. In addition to momming and wifing, you like, you're not good at all of those things. You need to be, you need to be really good at one business and then also really good at mom and wife. And once I, I feel like I let, I let Senegens become that for me. And I, when I decided to go all in with a lot of help from my husband and a lot of help from Ricky, um, when I let it be that one thing, like everything changed and everything shifted. And I, I'm not like a rapid fire success story. I'm not a crown princess. I'm not, you know, but I think that what I have gotten from Senegens is way bigger than a paycheck or way bigger than a rank increase because I've, I've gotten like, I've gotten time with my kids and my husband and I've gotten like, like an elephant off my chest as far as pressure because I feel like I was just not able to, I've just been given such a gift and like, it's more than money and it's more than a rank and it's more than anything else. It's, it's time and, and so, uh, so many other things. Anyway, I gotta try and fo- <laughs> try and get back here. Um, the day I went in, things changed. Okay, so here's I guess what I'm trying to to get in on or get on. Hold on, I better read this. 
Balances everything. Us being in the same direct sales business and then seeing you transition to this was... <laughs> I know, Lindsay, we have a cool story, don't we? Weatherly, yes, Weatherly darling, you get me. It was comforting to see you make that trans transition and see how well it was going for you. Killed my fears of leaving, leaving the other. Yeah, it's scary. Um... <laughs> oh, Shelby. <laughs> well, I have been in it for a while now, you know, so... Um, and you're new, so imagine where you'll be in six months. <laughs> okay, so um, what I what I wanted to get to with all of that, I mean, that's mostly just me rambling and being passionate, but um, I want you to, like, I want you to have faith in it, that it will work. So, like, it might not be overnight, and you might not be crown princess in two months, <laughs> like some of these, these crazy ladies. Um... But, like, if you have faith in it and you let it work and you continually work it, it'll work for you. Like, like just have faith in, in the design of, of the way things are set up. If you post and if you're consistent and if you build your network and if you keep doing it and if you keep loving it, because loving it is, like, the most important thing. If you keep loving it and you just share that excitement and share your your passion for the products and your passion for what it's doing for you as a person but that's all, that's all it is. That's all you need to do. Like you, you need to, you need to love it and people will see that you love it and they will, they will just come because it's amazing. And it's just, it, you want to be a part of it because it's so exciting to be in on something that's at the, at this stage, like where it's so new and so booming. It's just so exciting. Plus, I mean, it's fun. Like this is just crazy fun, right? <laughs> so, okay. Um, if you work it, it'll work for you. Consistency is key. So like I said, I'm not, I'm not going to go like deep into a consistency training for you or anything. But like, I think that is so important. Like, what did I write? Hold on. I wrote something wise somewhere in here. <laughs> um, yeah. So <laughs> um, consistency is one of the most important things. Like, if you aren't consistent, if you don't post in your group every single day, you're you're just going to fade into the background. When you do post, people aren't really going to register it, but if you like if you want this to work and you you want to you want you want a crown. If you want a crown, you need to pull, you need to work your business every single day. You need to selfie every day, you need to post every day. You need to be consistent with it. And if you're not, it you know, it's going to be a lot harder to get that crown. Um like if you <sighs> I heard a saying too sometime that was like, if you work it like a part-time job, it's going to pay you like a part-time job. If you work it like a full-time job, you're going to get paid like it's a full-time job. So, um, the, the gift that we have with this business is that I can spend the afternoon at the park with my kids and still be working my business and not, not be worried about racing home to sew or not be worried about, um, you know, everything else, like I can sit on my phone if I need to while my kids run around and have a great time and I can, I can interact with them and I can pay attention to them, but I can still be working a little bit, but I'm not tied to a desk and I'm not, I'm not stuck and I'm not like trying to shoo them away and keep them busy so that I can get stuff done. Like I'm able to, to have freedom to enjoy them. So we have a gift, like being able to work through our phone. Um, let's see. Oh, something else. So, um, so I'm, I'm a duchess at this point, which I know that when you're just starting out, like, you're like, wow, that's, that's a high rank. Like, that's hard to get, but it doesn't feel, you know, it's, it still feels like I'm just, I'm just me and I'm just like doing my thing, you know? So I, for me, like the, the biggest part of it was how working this business as opposed to everything else working this one, um, has allowed me to live my life in a different way. Um, so like I said, being able to work anywhere and being able to spend time with my kids and not feeling pressure to get back and, and do what I need to do as far as sewing or whatever. Um, that, that's the biggest thing. And being able to spend the evenings, I, like if my husband says, let's, let's marathon binge on a net Netflix show. I don't have to be like, oh, yeah, but I have orders to ship tomorrow. Like, as far as sewing and I have to cut them tonight and print a pattern like and go through all this stuff 
I can just be like, heck yeah, let's have a marathon. Like, let's watch TV the whole night. That sounds great. And I can do that. <laughs> and it's still, I mean, it's been six months at least of that feeling, but that feeling never gets old because I'm able to, I'm able to give of myself to him, my time and my, I'm, I'm relaxed. I'm way more relaxed. Okay. So hubby, I've talked about the kids. I've talked about the fun and the confidence and, um, I don't think I talked about the confidence, but confidence is huge. That was a huge part of it for me. Huge. <laughs> it's okay, Weatherly. It's not important. <laughs> um, then also, one other thing I wanted to talk about was um, the financial aspect of it. So, I mean, everybody knows, like, the more downlines you have, the more money you make, right? Um, <laughs> I know. She's so funny. Um so the more downlines you have, the more income you, you get, right? And your sales and all that stuff, that stuff is all important. Well, this is twofold for me in that the summer we've been in, well, not only this summer, but um, I took my husband to Vegas in March and I paid for it entirely with uh, my Senegent's earnings. I paid for drinks, I paid for meals, I paid for a hotel, I paid for flights, I paid for everything with um, Senegent's income. And then uh, we planned a very, very last minute road trip um, to the Black Hills with our kids. And um, I was telling Ricky this this afternoon, but like usually, you know, we would look for camping and tenting because it's inexpensive. It's an inexpensive way to stay, but it's a nine hour drive from us to um, the Black Hills. And there's like a lot of equipment and stuff that needs to come with when you're camping. <laughs> so um, because of... Senegens, and because of my income with Senegens, I was able to just say, you know what, let's just get a hotel. And we stayed in a hotel for five, was it five nights? Thursday, fr no, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, two, yeah, five nights. And I was able to just put it on my Senegens card. <laughs> and it was like, it was just like, it was so eye-opening because not only did I have to worry about not like cramming in sewing orders the night before we left or being away that long and being worried about not getting stuff done while I was gone, but I was able to check in on my business while it was there, albeit sporadically because the cell phone service was terrible, but I was able to check in and, um, I was able to just enjoy the trip like holy and, and like... I don't know. It's just so, I've just gotten so much from this and it's, it's not even all money. <laughs> like it, it's just not even mostly money. It's just, it's just been such a gift to me. It really has. Um, so I think, let me read my last few points here. So first of all, of first of the last, um, I think that that positivity is the most important thing. So anybody that's been, well, anybody that's in our company since, you know, October <laughs> knows that there's been growth and change and struggle and hardship and difficulty and amazingness and struggle and stock issues. And, you know, I mean, everybody, there's been so many things. It's been a, it's been a, up and down kind of ride and like there's no denying that it has been but you know being positive throughout the whole thing has been probably the biggest key because you can't control it right like you can't control stock you can't control weird glitches on the website that are like so completely bizarre you can't even wrap your brain about brain around it <laughs> like you can't control that stuff so but like, I feel like I had faith enough in the fact that we were going somewhere and, and this was something I wanted to be a part of and I want it to work for me. I feel like having that and being positive about it and just knowing blind, just completely blind faith, just knowing that this was going to be something big was what got me through the last five, six months. Like, I mean, I have like 140 some girls on my team. So I get messages, <laughs> well, when it was harder, I was getting messages every single day from 50 different people and it was like just trying to 
just be blindly faithful with me, <laughs> you know, like, please just, just hold on to your blind faith, I promise it's worth it, it's gonna be worth it, it's gonna be worth it, and those girls now that, like, that wrote it out, and that are seeing, like, seeing this change, and seeing, oh, okay, so it was hard, but now, now look at the, the great strides that we've made, and look at how much, um, like how much how much progress we've made and yes it was hard yes it was so hard but you know what I did not stop I didn't stop I didn't stop recruiting I heard so many people like I'm I would never recruit into this environment and I was like you know what no you're crazy <laughs> like if you're not gonna recruit send those girls to me that want to sign up because I will take them and I will help them and I will nurture them and I will help them be successful because I don't want anybody to miss out on this you guys like this is insane <sighs> See, I get off track because I get so excited. <laughs> oh, I better read. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Being able to jo enjoy the things you couldn't fully enjoy because you weren't 100% present. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> it's even more motivational to me that you've gotten where you are with all of those growing pains. It, it was crazy, yeah. You absolutely gave a lot of girls a chance to be successful. So, I, and I just feel like that was... I, it, it, again, it went back to blind faith. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just had a feeling about this the whole time through. And, and yes, it was hard. Yes, there were times where I was like, what is happening? Like, why is this a thing? Like, why are these questions that I need to answer? Like, why? You know, like sometimes as parents, like you have to say the most ridiculous things, like don't rub the bread on your face. You know, like, it's like, why do I have to tell my girls that, you know, yes, you have 15 orders processing. And none of them went through, but it's okay. <laughs> you know, like, why Why are these things I have to say? Yes, yes, I had, yes, I got stressed out. Yes, I got frustrated. But again, it just went back to that blind faith, you know. <laughs> Aw, Lindsay, you're so sweet. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just, um, I'm, I am obsessed with what this company has done for me as a person, mostly. Um, that's by far leaps and bounds the biggest gift that I have gotten from this company and um, why go all in like I titled I titled the live why go all in and I I truly believe that if you go all in and you can give it your focus and you let the company work for you at the same time as you're working for it you're you're gonna see like you're gonna see you're gonna see the rewards you're gonna get the crown. <laughs> You're going to get your rank ring, which I'm sad. I didn't even think to put my rank rings on tonight. You're going to get the rank rings. You're going to earn the Senna car. You're going to get the trip. You're going to get, you know, you're going to get all of those things. And it's all going to come from positivity and consistency and blind faith. That's what, that's where it's coming from. <laughs> um, so I just, I just absolutely love that. Um, success in this company is, is, you know, it's solely your responsibility. If you want to succeed, you need to do it. So you can't, you can't message your upline and say, oh, man, you know, I don't have any interaction in my group. I don't have any sales. I don't have any download. Like, what are you going to do about it? Like, what are you going to do about it? No, you don't have enough sales. What are you going to do about it? No, there's not enough participation in your group. What are you going to do about it? No, you don't have any downlines. If you want a downline, what are you going to do about it? You know, like you just got to, you, you got to do it. It's all on you. And I think that's why I love it so much because I am an independent person. And I know that if I bust my butt now, I'm the one who's going to be seeing the rewards and all the rewards are going to be mine and I will have earned them. So <sighs> anyways, I could go on and on, you guys. I'm just so, I'm just so like obsessed. I love this company. I love our team. I love my uplines. Like, I just feel like this, I couldn't love it anymore. And you could, I haven't stopped smiling <laughs> the whole live. Like, it's just been great. And, and like I said, it's most of the greatness is all a personal change and personal growth and all the things that it's brought me on that level. So, <clears throat> um, uh, yes, Michelle, we do have an amazing team. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> I love you too, Ricky. Hi, Leah. Hi, Nikki. Ah, love you too. Hi, Kim. You guys are so sweet. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I will. I will stop yelling at you. <laughs> 
but I'm just, I'm so excited, and I so much want my, like, the way that I feel about this company, like, I so want this for everyone, like, hi, you did stay awake, Weatherly, I'm patting you on the back right now, I totally am, good job, oh, <laughs> thank you, Angela, I know, I love our team, I do, I do, <laughs> um, so yeah, I really just want this so much for everyone, and I think that's what all the, how the, all the uplines feel like we really any success we've had you know is is your success too and it's because of because of solid girls on our team and because because of girls that don't quit and girls who see the vision and and can embrace embrace the same dream that we have and everybody I mean everybody's in this company because they just want more they want more for their their family and more for themselves and um, everybody that's here and everybody that's watching right now they're they're allowing themselves to dream a little bit right? Like, like everybody joined this on a chance. Like, well, if I spend $55, there's a, there's a chance I can make a profit. There's a chance I could make a little extra money. There's a chance I could make a lot of extra money. So everybody, everybody joined this because they let themselves dream a little bit. So keep dreaming, like dream bigger, keep going. And everybody that's here right now, like, has toughed it out through the hardest part. <laughs> so it's only getting better, better from here, and we're, we're going to do it together. So I love you all. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I'm such a spaz and I'm crazy. <laughs> but I genuinely have just a deep, deep love for, for this company and my team and my uplines and everything. So it has been <laughs> I don't think I fit in your pocket. I'm a big girl. Um, <laughs> so, um, thank you so much for watching you guys and I wish nothing but the best for every single one and I can't wait to meet everybody at Pit or Leaders or Pit again or Seminar or whatever. Um, just, just good luck to everyone and, uh, I'm cheering for ya. <laughs> good luck girls. Bye. I love my team. Bye.